please welcome Kevin Costner. He's an Oscar and Emmy winning actor and director with a giant passion project that earned him an 11 minute standing ovation at Cannes. At the 77th annual Cannes Film Festival to chat up Horizon and American Saga, Kevin Costner took five of his seven children, whom he posed with on the red carpet. You brought your kids to the, uh, to the, to the premiere? Yeah, I wanted them to see me work. Yeah. I, I, I brought five of them and got them tuxedos. I got them, bought them dresses. Actor admitted to Jimmy Kimmel he had a hard time keeping track of them. We came to France to be as a family, and they go, it's working great, Dad. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's working really, what do we do next? I said, I don't know, we need your tour director to figure that out. So adorable. Can you believe this exemplary father was a self-proclaimed player who didn't want any more children while his then-wife Christine was ready to start a family? Costner had spent most of his life with different women. He could pick any woman he wanted. But how Christine managed him to settle down? Costner's life was not always headed for the playboy lane. Before his turbulent years as a heartbreaking bachelor, the actor's life was pretty stable. As hard as it is to believe, there was once a time when Costner was only devoted to one woman. Before the actor went on a bumpy journey searching for true love, he had found it in his college sweetheart. Costner and actress Cindy Silva met in university, and the two instantly hit it off. Soon, they were married and headed for Hollywood to make it big time in the industry. But they had no idea the marriage would be tested. After their first movie together, Dancing with Wolves, Costner had broken into the industry and his face was becoming more and more familiar on the big screen. But little did the actor know that fame and fortune would come at a cost. The temptations are pretty strong and there's a hungry world out there waiting for you to fall, the actor confessed. So you can't even dabble without paying a huge price. I try to conduct my life with a certain amount of dignity and discretion, but marriage is a hard, hard gig. As the years went by, Costner's small family life was threatened by the fast life of Hollywood. There were many temptations, and the curious actor could not resist them, or he didn't try to. Soon, there were rumors that Costner had stepped out of his marriage with then-rising star Mira Sorvino, who portrays a carefree sex worker in one of Woody Allen's movies. Their affair took to headlines just a year before Costner and his wife went their separate ways. But this was not the last of his indiscreet cheating claims. An adult film star also confessed to having an affair with the actor the year he divorced his wife. Despite the risk of being publicly exposed, Costner spent time wooing Catwoman actress Michelle Pfeiffer. To make matters worse, his wife had also played the Catwoman role, and so did another one of his rumored mistresses, Halle Berry. Maybe Costner just had a thing for women in cat masks and black tights. Meow. From the outside, Costner's marriage looked perfect. He had married his college sweetheart, and they were raising three beautiful children. So it took fans by surprise when the seemingly perfect couple announced that they were getting a divorce. However, for Costner's close friends, family, and workmates, they could see that it was a long time coming. It was a foreseeable future that could not be stopped. To them, Costner was the type of man to come on to any woman he desired, and his marriage was not going to stop him. Costner had even publicly admitted to being tempted by all the bad influences that fame and fortunes had to offer. And soon, he realized that he wanted the freedom to explore them. I have a big thirst, a big taste for things. I hate the fact that I've lived by somebody else's rules and I've somehow missed out on something. Soon, their marriage ended and the actor was free to roam the Hollywood streets and have his pick of women from every corner. Just a year after his divorce, Costner had already moved on. Got everything that one could possibly ever want. The young bachelor was rumored to be dating Bridget Rooney, whose family is known for owning a franchise in the NFL. Unfortunately, Costner and Rooney's relationship only lasted a year. Although they tried to keep it as private as possible, one scandal would cement their love forever. After their relationship came to an end, Rooney gave birth to a son, and since she had been spending most of her time with Costner, it was not so hard to put the dots together, except for the actor. Costner refused the child to be his until he was forced to take a paternity test, which didn't change much. 
When the result confirmed that it was indeed Coster's son, the actor opened up a trust fund for his kid, but made minimal effort to connect with the young boy. They are rarely spotted spending time together. Costner was only focused on charming his way into the hearts of an endless list of women. In her tell memoir, Dirty Rocker Boy's Love and Lust on the Sunset Strip, model Bobby Jean Brown confessed to having had some fun with the Hollywood bachelor. However, their romantic evening took a wrong turn when she literally set his bedroom on fire. And for the busy bachelor, this was not the only memoir where his name was mentioned. Former actress Peggy Trentini was also more than happy to dish out all the dirty laundry of her fling with Costner. In her book, Once Upon a Star, Celebrity Kiss and Tell Stories, Peggy described the actor as someone fun and sexy, but not so much falling in love material. He was so fun and flirty, but I never took him seriously because my friends all told me he was a huge womanizer. Peggy said that Costner would also have his friends bring pretty women to his house so he could find himself a hot girlfriend. So it's no wonder he ended up in her memoir rather than a wedding photo album. One of the women he dated didn't have something good come out of her relationship with the actor. Instead, the young lady checked herself into a rehabilitation center for alcohol abuse shortly after she and Costner broke up. Costner had such a hold on her that she vouched for him during the time of his lewd behavior news when Costner received a scandalous massage from a five-star hotel. Just as his bachelor life was becoming more and more outrageous, Costner finally found the person he described as his equal. After several more fleeting flings and affairs with many women, including friends Courtney Cox, Australian supermodel Elle McPherson, stole Costner's wondrous heart. For some time, it seemed like the actor was ready to settle down. I feel I have met my equal with this beautiful, talented, funny, and lovely person. He had slowed down on his fast-paced ladies' man lifestyle. He traded his singlehood to move in with McPherson, but shortly after they took things to the next level, Costner got cold feet and fell back into his promiscuous lifestyle. He had seduced one of the world's first supermodels, who earned the nickname of France's first lady, Carla Bruni, after she dated French president Nicolas Sarkozy. Just before his relationship with McPherson reached the year mark, the pair went their separate ways, and Costner returned to what was left of his bachelor days. And aside from the heart he had just broken, someone else wasn't happy about Costner's escapades either. During the filming of For the Love of the Game, John Travolta had steam coming out of his ears when rumors were going around that his wife was having an affair with her co-star. The media didn't make it any easier, reporting possibilities of the romance developing off-screen. But if there was something between them, it was not serious enough for Costner to stay. After years of searching for the right one, Costner still hadn't found the woman who made him want to be a better man. However, model and fashion handbag designer Christine Baumgartner walked into his life and changed all of that. The couple met when Costner was still married and bumped into each other again years after his marriage had ended. Costner was not prepared to open his heart up again, but Cupid had other plans. When I met Christine, I wasn't prepared to be in love again, Costner admitted. It took me a long time before I said, I love you to her. A long time. The two were together for a while, but unfortunately separated after finding out that they wanted different things in life. Christine was ready to start a family, but Costner was a self-proclaimed player who didn't want any more children. While she was thinking about spending the rest of her life with him, Costner had spent most of his life with different women. I was like the classic single guy. Who do I love this week? Who next week? I wouldn't even use the word love with someone because that makes things trickier. Christine had told him that she was willing to wait for him to be ready enough to have children, but not for long. Fortunately, Costner pulled it together quickly enough to save their relationship. Costner realized that he would lose the love of his life over a fear of having to start a new family. After all his failed relationships, who could blame him for being afraid to go all in? Still, Costner had finally met the woman he was ready to spend the rest of his life with, and his fear couldn't change that. After getting back together, the couple tied the knot in 2004, and this time, close friends, family, and colleagues only had good things to say about the happily married couple. One of the most charming places to go for me romantically is uh, anywhere with my wife. The newlyweds welcomed their first son, and his brother and sister followed shortly after, making Costner the doting dad of seven children. This time, the actor seemed to be taking his role as a father seriously. 
so much so that he turned down certain roles to focus on helping raise his children. Amidst all the happiness, Costner lost one of the closest people in his life, acclaimed singer and his co-star from The Bodyguard, Whitney Houston. In his own words, Houston was the actor's one true love, and her death left him devastated. I let her down, I should have been there, and I wasn't, and now for the rest of my life, I will have to live with that pain. I saved her then, I should have saved her now. Fortunately for the star, he didn't have to go through this painful loss alone. He now had a loving family to look after him in tough times. Costner turned away from his past life and found the peace and happiness he spent ages looking for. The actor who used to boast about his bachelor escapades has time to only boast about his happy family life now. That's all we have for you today. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to tell your friends how cool we are.